Good morning. So uh, I know, Barb, how you hate to read my long letters and emails, so I thought I'd shoot a quick video and just read one for you, uh, especially since I don't really know what you're reading or answering in this current situation. And I think there's been a ton that's been misinterpreted between the email battles and the attorneys and everybody that's involved in the emails and the texts that are going all over the place. So I just thought I'd do one directly to you. So whoever gets this, I'd sure appreciate it if you could ask Barb just to spend five minutes and uh, listen to this. I realize there's been a lot of things the three of us have said and done uh, over the last nine months uh, that were not very kind, um, but it's not even the point. Uh, I, I know, Barb, that you've talked to Pastor John about the family situation, and I'm gonna take that as maybe you'd like to solve it, and I think we can begin right now by at least getting together and agreeing on some of the issues that we face with mom and the estate and not looking backward, just looking forward. I think that's something that you said in the past as well. Uh, we've got some big events coming up this summer, which makes now a great time to try to do this. Uh, Linda's coming to town, we've got Annie's funeral, uh, we've got Mother's Day, we've got weddings, we've got showers, uh, and not to mention that it would just be a lot less stress in our lives uh, knowing that everything on this side would be taken care of. I'm not trying to set up a meeting to sabotage you or even to try to mend a relationship or discuss who said what or who did what in the past. I simply think it'd be prudent for us to get together and work this out completely, knowing there's no more issues that we need to face going forward. If you'll see in a minute, I threw together a quick 60 minute, 60 second video uh, to kind of remind us all of where we came from. Barbara, I know in the past you've trusted me because I was your go-to in many situations uh, all the way back 45 years ago when you crashed a truck on 44. Who did you call when you were in trouble? Or when you needed stuff moved to Grand Forks, who did you call? Or when you thought your ex was having an affair, who did you call? Uh, when you guys needed help on boats and snowmobiles, I was always happy, happy to help, happy to be there. Uh, think of the ski trips we've been on uh, with my family and yours, uh, including trips to the Rockies and to Europe, uh, Thanksgiving trips when I lived out in Colorado. Uh, you came with us on part of our honeymoon, Barb. Um, New York with Lori and Mom and Wendy. Um, Lindsay befriended your family when you moved here, which I think was really good for both sets of kids. So it's been a two-way street. Uh, both my family and Wendy's have stayed at your place in Virginia and in Maryland, and, and thank you. Uh, you helped Christy out immensely over the years, and I think she helped you with your kids as well. How many times did we meet in Florida with mom and dad? Uh, I think you know that over the last 35 years, Lori's become more of a sister than a sister-in-law. Uh, you stood up at our weddings. We were honored when you asked us to stand up at your wedding and prouder to be asked to be grandparents, or godparents, not grandparents, <laughs> godparents. Uh, what we're going through now is troublesome for all of us. I've had some trouble sleeping at nights and recently I've had little chest flutters uh, because of the stress. And I, I keep thinking about dad and his Christmas heart attack because I know the situation and the stress he was going through at the time. And you couldn't tell he was hiding it well, but... I, I really don't want to go through that, um, which is kind of why this, here's a peace offering, let's get this straightened out. I'd just like to sit down and meeting face to face, face all the issues we need to settle, come to an agreement on everything moving forward uh, that's a win situation for the entire family. Again, this is strictly a business meeting, work out the details moving forward and nothing more. We can have a safe word like past. That means that we're not gonna talk about whatever just came up. That's in the past, it's irrelevant. Close the subject and we're gonna move on. The list isn't that long. I, I, I mean, my, here's my list and if you have other things you'd like to talk about there that involve moving forward with the estate, write it down and we can sit and talk about it. But there's the cabin, uh, pricing, personal property, golf cart, pontoon, yacht club, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think we should talk about where the money goes and whether mom and dad would like to gift or some, something to the grandkids or um, if we um, want to build some sort of a trust, if whatever's the easiest way to handle that. I want to talk about the hangar, which is pretty much done, but I want to make sure everybody understands and it's transparent. Um, the Mercedes, I'd like to talk about. Personal property at the hangar we can talk about. 
Uh, you need to talk about the insurance business. I had in the last week had my office pull all the paperwork from the last five years, uh, and so I can bring that with and answer any questions. I like to talk about holidays and how we're going to handle those going forward. Um, I think we should talk about if mom needs to become a ward of the state or how that works. Something I'd be happy to spearhead and take care of. I know it's a huge undertaking, um, and I'd be happy to deal with that. Uh, and then prepaid funeral arrangements, um, just so in the end, we know that the funeral's taken care of um, and we don't have to worry about that as well. Um, again, I don't know if you read any of my emails anymore. I, I've tried especially hard in the past couple months not even to talk about cabin price, because I don't really care. Uh, I think mom and dad would be very happy if it stays in the family, and if your family wants it, I think it's great. I think you're doing most of the heavy lifting right now, so if you come out ahead and get to spend some more time with the girls on Madeline, I support that, and I'm happy for you. I've said buy it for 225. I, I actually think in one email I could show you that I said buy it for 200. Uh, but instead of coming back and saying. Why, do you, why are you okay with 200 or yes, we'll take it at 225. Uh, your camp came back and offered 245. And I'm like, why, why? you're going the wrong direction on this deal. Why? I, I'm just not sure why that's happening. Um, I think that's what we're missing by doing this via email through a bunch of attorneys. I just want to move forward and settle it. Uh, so none of us need to go through this again in two months over another issue or in six months over another issue or when mom passes we got to figure out what to do let's just get it all taken care of and um, move forward uh, I said let's have a meeting with Ward because I trust him uh, because of your relationship with him and because of Lori's family relationship with him but if he's too busy I'm fine with Chris I think that it works well uh, for all of us maybe just to meet even without counsel and since Harry's out of town and Lori really doesn't think she should be a part of it, um, I think it should just be the three siblings. It would keep the meeting shorter. There'd be less confrontation, I think, if there no spouses are involved um, and easier to work through. It's easier to keep three people happy than six, that's for sure. Uh, and if you need to consult with a spouse or an attorney, fine. We all have cell phones. Walk out of the meeting for a minute and make a phone call. Uh, another couple options would be just to meet in a public place. Let's go to Perkins or to IHOP, uh, somewhere uh, public that we can all be civil um, and calm and respectful. Or maybe if you think you need somebody there, maybe we should call Pastor John and meet over at Presbyterian. I'm sure he'd be happy to help. Whatever you need to be comfortable, um, besides any of us can leave the meeting at any time if it gets out of control and we're not in any worse spot than we are right now. I really think we can work through this if we just show up with an open mind, focus on the matters that need solving, and only matters that need to be addressed to move forward with everybody agreeing. We were doing fine for almost a year and a half, uh, working things through, many meetings at Presbyterian between the three of us, before everything blew. We worked through many issues during that time, and I'm certain we can resolve this civilly uh, and respectfully in 45 minutes to an hour uh, in a purely business type meeting. If we listen respectfully, try to at least understand completely why each of us are saying what we're saying, and maybe ask, why do you think that, instead of instantly getting defensive or argumentative uh, or rejecting idea without prior listening to why the person is saying that, maybe maybe it's a good idea. Uh, I think it's a good first strep, strep? <laughs> I think it's a good first step in trial to move forward peacefully. You have my word, no ambush, no fighting. Let's just try and make our lives easier, saner, and less stressful while taking a little time to work this out. Uh, in 35 years in the insurance business, I've been in tougher meetings than this where people, <laughs> yeah, it was, and it was much more stressful. And in the end, I think that we there was a lot of stress meeting to the meeting. The meetings would all work themselves out, and in the end, it was like, poof, the stress was gone. Uh, so I think that... Uh, it can be settled amicably uh, with an agreement that makes all of us happy. Uh, I'll make the time to meet with you as soon as you'd like. Meet anywhere you'd like. Meet with anybody you think needs to be there. I do not see problems trying to get you to a closing by June 2nd. And with any luck, this first step can solve the current issues and maybe start moving us forward as a family again. This is strictly a humble peace offering to get you guys the cabin 
and all of their issues solved in this state. I'm open to whatever. Let's just get together and work this out. Hopefully doing this video shows the, the honesty and, and intent that I have in trying to get this done peacefully. You know me pretty well, and contrary to what you've been told or what you may believe, according to the people in my world, I really have not changed. <laughs> this offer is sincere, sincere and from the bottom of my heart. So here's a quick video I threw together uh, for nothing else than to remind us of where we came from. There are no hidden meetings. Don't try and overthink it or figure out hidden meanings behind any of the photos. Those are just done really quickly with photos that showed up. Uh, there's no conspiracy or no hidden meanings in any of the video or in any of this message. So just let me know when you want to get together. Thank you.